Hello friends and welcome to art class. I hope all you guys are doing good and that you're staying healthy. Um, so yeah, welcome to the next week's assignment. So now that it's officially April, um, we're gonna be doing some Earth Day related stuff. Um, Earth Day, I guess if you're getting this, if you're watching this the day that I put it up, Earth Day is in about a week and a half. Um, so yeah, it's coming right up. Um, so we're going to be doing a drawing project here. It's called a biome jar. Hopefully you all know what a biome is, you know, a sort of an environment, the animals, plants, and all that included, landscape features included. Um, and then this is just a, just a fun alternate way to do it. So what you're seeing on the screen is some different jar shapes. You should have several um, attachments with this. You don't need to print out any of them. Simply put them up on your screen of your um, Chromebook and choose one that you want to draw and start drawing from it. So I'm going to choose some ones that I think look cool. Um, some, you know, combination of jar, animal, um, habitat from those same sheets that you guys have. Um, you can, if you want to, you can just straight up draw what I'm drawing. Um, but none of this is too hard. So I'm mostly going through this so that you can see the steps of what you're doing. Um, but just look through those. You know, find ones that you like, draw them on a piece of paper. All right, so I just wanna show you quickly, um, you should have all these. They will also be linked down below in the show notes for this video, um, as well as being on that um, handout that you guys have, the um, spreadsheet. All right, so we have, you should have one that's different shaped jars, um, and then you have these animals. So from these, you pick and draw. So you pick one of these animals, you pick one or two of these landscape things, and then you pick one of the one or two of the other details. They could be, you know, animal, landscape, additional, um, you know, plants or animals that could be in there. Here's another one. We've got rainforest and desert, and finally grasslands and forest. Um, so any combination of them is cool. I'm gonna be doing. I think I'm gonna be doing a uh, desert scene because I, I, I'm just kind of liking how these ones turned out. So I'm going to do some combination of these inside of one of these jars that I picked over there. Um, so yeah, I'll go through that with you guys and we'll talk more about the assignment. All right, friends. So I just picked one of the jars from that jar worksheet. Now, if I'm you doing this at home, I'm going to just pull that up right on the screen on my Chromebook and just start drawing from it. No printing required, nothing like that. Just put it up and start going. So I selected a sort of a round based um, jar. There's the lid and then kind of the neck around the lid. Oops, let's bring that back through there. Awesome. Give it like a little bit of a, it's just kind of a suggestion of like a roundness at the top and then kind of a, just a suggestion of what's going to come down here. Maybe like a little bit of, there we go. All right, so we're going to come down. We're going to go all the way around the bottom. We're going to make it just a little bit flat on the bottom. Come all the way back around up to there and back up to the neck. Now, one more thing you want to do. Um, and this is just to um, simulate the sort of thickness of the glass. Um, you see a little bit at the top there, and we're going to do it at the bottom. And all these more or less have something like this. You're just going to start at the edge and do a second line here. Not the straightest line ever, but you get the idea. Just to give the impression of that thickness of the bottom. Um, now from here, we're going to go and select some different animals to stick in there. Um, you could do it a few different ways. I would suggest animal first, then some kind of background element, and then the landscape element uh, last. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to do, boy, I keep going back and forth. I think I'm going to do the um, armadillo. And I'm actually going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit on my screen so you guys can see it better. And I'm going to imagine like that my ground is going to be through here. So let's go ahead and let's see where I want this guy to be. Um, 
maybe like right here-ish. All right, so I'm gonna draw his little head. I'm gonna start with his ears. Let me come down and around here. There's another ear there. Sort of mouth. That's our eye mouth, dot for a nose. And then I'm gonna get his shell shaped body here. There we go. Little tail. His little legs. And another one. And another one. And another one. And then don't forget the sort of ridges. Again, you don't have to do what I'm doing. I just kind of thought I'd go through the steps with you. So you see how it's all put together. You can also do some kind of dashes. Like that. You could even do the exact same um, biome and everything that I am, but do the coyote or the rattlesnake. Or you can straight up do something totally different. Okay. I like him. Let's go out. Yeah. Um, yeah, how about right there? And then let's do maybe a cactus. Let's see here. I'm going to do a cactus. Mm, yeah, let's do a cactus. So I'm going to start it kind of over here. And we'll do like a sort of a saguaro cactus. So we'll start below where the our horizon would be. We'll come up. It's a big barrel shaped guy. Okay. And then we have sort of a wet thing to indicate where the ground is. Two arms coming out. So maybe some things here to indicate spines. Some vertical lines. Same thing here. These are vertical lines, but they're going to curve with the arms of the cactus. All right. Maybe like some, even like a flower or a cactus blossom on top of there. Final step is we're going to uh, do the uh, sort of landscape features. In this case, a sand dune and kind of a thing there to indicate that. Give me some dots, some dots. I might even a little bit of a. I'm doing it on a computer. I can kind of do some few things like that. Is there anything else that I might want to put in? I could put in, if I wanted to, like some sort of flying, like birds and stuff. That maybe wouldn't hurt anything, right? Mm, sort of a, like that. smaller one, just like a little bit of a tiny, like that, maybe like some, oh, I almost want to make like a, I don't, know, I don't want to make it too big, but maybe even like a tumbleweed or something back here. You want to give yourself, oops, look where I'm going here. You want to give yourself some different kind of options. All right. Tumbleweed. All right, so yeah, if you check this out, I have all the things I said. I got an animal, actually several animals if we count the birds. I might even do a couple more birds up here because they tend to kind of fly around. Maybe like a, that's even just, a you know, the smallest suggestion of a bird. 
be like a Ooh, that looks terrible. <laughs> right. um, yeah, so we got animal or animals. We got landscape features. We got plants, right? All the things that are in a biome we have in our biome drawing. Um, so yeah, once you get to this point, either your options are give it some shading, right? So you can come in. Obviously, you, if you got this far, you have a pencil and a piece of paper. You come in and just kind of shade, give some, you know, make some things darker, give some things a little lighter, or preferred method, color, right? Give me green cactus, give me some tan sand, give me a gray armadillo, or, I mean, you know, freestyle it. You guys always know you can do that in my class. Um, but the more of that stuff that you add in, the better your grade's gonna be. Just give me a straight drawing, no shading, no coloring, not gonna be that good. Add more of this stuff in, it's gonna get better. Um, so yeah, so look through the worksheets that are attached both to this video. Um, same ones are attached on that spreadsheet. Find the stuff that you want. Again, I just stuck to kind of what were on the worksheets with the armadillo and the cactus. If you know of other stuff that's in that biome that you kind of want to freestyle, do your own thing, that's cool. As long as it looks good, it's appropriate to the biome, and it's all fit within a jar like you see on my screen, then you should get a good grade. If you're watching this on the day that I post it, the day it gets posted, that is um, Monday the 6th. You need to have this done by Monday, April 13th, next Monday. Also, if you haven't done last assignments, uh, last week's assignment, if you haven't turned it in yet, please do so. I'm going to be sending out a list of emails of people who haven't turned theirs into me yet. Um, and I just got to get those in. All right, guys. Well, I hope this was fun. Maybe a little something different. And... Yeah, enjoy. I'll see you guys next week.